Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. In today's video, we are discussing the history of Tesla and Elon Musk. So let's get into it. All right, guys, welcome back and thank you so much for being here. I hope you're all having a fantastic long weekend. Now, we know it has been a massive year for Tesla. They have been in the news a ton and have made a lot of people a lot of money. Now, when we hear Tesla, we automatically think Elon Musk. But it may come as a surprise to some that Elon Musk was not actually one of the original co-founders of Tesla. As an investor in Tesla, I have done my fair bit of research into the company, and this is one of those rabbit holes that I just kind of went down, finding out the background of both Elon Musk and Tesla as a company. And it's one that I found quite interesting and figured maybe not everybody knows, so would love to share it with you guys. So in today's video, we are gonna take a look at Tesla as a company pre-Elon Musk. We're gonna take a look at Elon Musk pre-Tesla, and then we're gonna take a look at when they came together and what the company did from there. And just before we get into all of that good stuff, this is just your friendly reminder to please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel, helps us grow and helps you stay up to date with all of our latest videos. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button too. So Tesla Motors was founded back in 2003 in San Carlos, California by two gentlemen of the name Martin Eberhard and Mark Tarpening. The company was named after 19th century inventor Nikola Tesla, best known for discovering the properties of rotating electromagnetic fields. His work led to what is known as alternating current, the form of electrical transmission still used today. Tesla is historically noted for his significant contributions to electrical engineering and sciences and in recent decades has become a pop culture icon among engineers and scientists. At the founding of Tesla, Eberhard served as CEO, Tarpening served as CFO. They launched their company to develop and produce an entirely electric car, in part based on the favorable reaction test markets had to General Motors' previous electric car experiment, the EV1, although GM only ran this program from 96 to 99, producing a limited run of cars that it never released for public purchase but it was generally considered a success from an engineering standpoint. So it's interesting now to see GM as a company trying to expand its reach into the EV market as this is not a market they are unfamiliar with. So it wasn't until the year 2004 that Elon Musk became a part of the company. Now he showed up with $30 million to invest and became the chairman of the board of directors. But where did this man with $30 million come from? So originally from South Africa, Elon Musk spent some time in Canada before relocating down to the United States. Elon had registered in a PhD program in applied physics at Stanford University, but withdrew just two days into it as he thought the internet had better potential. So he and his brother decided to launch a startup called Zip2, an online business directory equipped with maps. After turning this into a successful company, Elon Musk moved on in 1999 to create a new company called X.com, or as you may know it, PayPal. Now, obviously we know that PayPal turned out to be fairly successful and in 2002 was bought out by eBay for a healthy $1.5 billion. Now, Elon's share of this was a nice 180 million. Now, hard to say exactly what Elon was wishing for with this birthday cake, but I'd say some wishes were definitely coming true. From here, Elon Musk moved on to a new company in 2002. Now, Elon was convinced that for life to survive, humanity would have to become a multi-planet species. However, he was very dissatisfied with how expensive rocket launchers were. So his response was to create the company Space Exploration Technologies, better known as SpaceX, to design more affordable rockets. So now we are back to 2004 when Elon Musk joined forces with Tesla with his $30 million investment into the company. Now come 2006, they unveiled their prototype for the Tesla Roadster, which then came into production by 2008. 
Now with the Roadster, Tesla achieved something that no company ever had. They produced an entirely electric car with practical specifications that could arguably meet consumer needs. Previous experiments in this field had failed because among other issues, companies struggled to produce a battery powerful enough to keep cars on the road and a cost-effective motor that could fit inside a consumer vehicle and accelerate it to highway speed. But the Roadster met those needs. The first model that was produced in 2008 was able to travel up to 250 miles on a single charge. However, the Roadster was not widely viable to consumers as the price tag when it first came out was over $100,000 and there was also an issue with charging time as it typically took 24 to 48 hours to recharge this car based on a regular home outlet. It is also around this time that Tesla made some pretty big changes to its leadership team, as in 2007, one of the original founders, Eberhard, stepped down as CEO. Now he did remain on the company's advisory board and then Zaev Drory took over as permanent CEO in November. Now, Drory is often credited with turning the Roadster from a prototype into a viable product. When he took over in 2007, the project had lagged and much of the reporting on Tesla focused on whether the company could deliver its flagship product to market. So he oversaw the successful launch of the Roadster in 2008. Now, just shortly before the company was able to ship out its very first Roadster, which happened to go to Musk, the original co-founders, Eberhard and Tarpening, both left Tesla completely. And not long after, in October of 2008, Elon Musk took over as CEO of the company and then fired about 25% of the staff. And from that point, Elon Musk and Tesla have been busy. In 2008, we first saw them announce their plans for the Model S sedan. 2009, though, we were facing some financial troubles, and Tesla seeked investment from Daimler AG and a loan from the Department of Energy. But also to help solve some of those money troubles, in 2010, Tesla goes public, raising $226 million in their IPO. Now come 2011, Tesla showcased the prototype for their Model S. Now this was Tesla's big attempt to lower the cost of their products compared to the Roadster, as the Model S was going to retail around $76,000 mark. Yes, still not super cheap, definitely still considered a luxury car, but one step closer to that mass consumer market. And the Model S was a big success. This car set new benchmarks for what an electric vehicle could achieve. It had a range of up to 300 miles and definitely a reduced charging time compared to the Roadster before it. So in 2012, the Model S sedan goes into full-time production, and at the same time, they discontinued production of their Roadster. Another big milestone was launching their supercharging stations in California. And it was in 2014 that Tesla announced their very first Gigafactory. Now we know the Gigafactory to be a key component to Tesla's business as they create the crucial technology surrounding the batteries for Tesla's cars. So it's around this time that we see Tesla really start to ramp up their ambition. In 2015, we see Tesla announced their very first lineup of new solar products for powering both homes and businesses. And in 2017, we see Tesla Motors become just Tesla to help encompass this new line of energy products. Elon Musk said that he wants the company to become an energy solution across multiple sectors. Now, continuing Tesla's push into the consumer car market, they went from only having the Model S to also having the Model 3, the Model X, and the Model Y. And in 2019, we saw Tesla unveil plans for their Cybertruck. Now, as far as being invested in Tesla goes, we know it has been one heck of a year for the Tesla stock, as they saw an amazing price run up over this last year, seeing prices well above the $2,000 mark before going through a five for one split in October. From one year ago to today, your stock will be up a nice 744%. So all in all, a really exciting history of Tesla here. And this was all very high level. There is even more exciting things that we just didn't have the time to mention. So I'd highly recommend taking a dive into Tesla and some of the exciting things they were doing as far as pushing the boundaries in modern technology. 
So as always, I love hearing from you guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What do you think of Tesla as a company and Elon Musk's past as well? If you made it all the way to the end of the video here, please make sure that you give us a big thumbs up and that you are subscribed to the channel as well. Don't forget to check out some of the awesome links that we have down below in the description, which include a link to my Patreon, which has our Discord chat group, and some great referral links too to get you some free stocks and deposit bonuses for signing up on new investment platforms. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and cheers.